how to find really great lodging when you travel. Well, <laughs> a lot of people ask me this and I want to give you some tips because it's something I spend hours researching, reading reviews, and because I've been to 34 countries, many of them repeatedly, not just once, I've made relationships in the past 15 years that have helped me find good places, but it wasn't like that in the beginning. Okay, so the problem with these platforms where you book online is you can't see it. And I don't care what anybody says. There have been so many times where I've gotten to a place and oddly enough, they didn't mention the dog that never stopped barking next door. I had to leave that one. Um, and they never mentioned the construction pounding on your interior wall. So this is the kind of thing you're not going to know on a platform. So this is why if you're going to go for a month or a week, it's really worth the extra money to just pay for a couple nights to see if you love it or hate it. Because... More often than not, <laughs> there's going to be problems. Um, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. The noise. You can't sleep. There's some generator. The bed is awful. Uh, the kitchen doesn't work. It doesn't have the items you need to actually cook. These are just a few of the things that you're not going to be able to live with for a week or a month. So what? every time I've not followed this, problems have happened. So what I like to do when I go to a country where I don't have the connections, I just rent a place to land for a couple of days because depending on how long the flight was, I'm going to need to recover from a 10 to 14 hour flight. So um, the best online source I've had in the past few years is booking, booking.com. I've used VRBO, Airbnb has been kind of hit or miss. Um, and mainly the good stuff has been, once I'm there, I start looking around and seeing the places that are in the neighborhoods that I want to live in, how close they are to the grocery store, how close they are to the ocean, how easily you can get to transportation. Like in Shefalu, where I rented my apartment last month, um, I could walk from the train station to the apartment if it didn't have my luggage. Be I couldn't do it with my luggage, but it was only a half a mile, so that's easy. Um, so it's things like that that really make it a great experience a good bed, the Wi-Fi works, the kitchen is working, they keep it clean. All these things are really important. And I would say that um, especially, and okay, for the budget, especially when it's not $500 a night, and even then, and I have paid that in the past, not in the current present, because I'm smarter now. Um, you can pay a lot of money and still not get everything. But if you do pay a lot of money, you're likely to have it be pretty nice. But the real challenge is to get something low to mid range and have it be good. But they're out there. There's people that are renting places that do have um, the morals and the integrity to keep it nice for people. But I've got to honestly say that's in the minority. Um, with my experience with renting places. Um, it's probably a little less than half. So that um, really are proud of their places and keep them up really well. So don't expect everything. You want to try something out for a few days. And this has happened to me several times. I'm on a, I'm not sure when I'm going to leave a place. So I'm I try it for a couple. Of, I tried that in uh, Puerto Vallarta. I booked it for two nights and ended up staying in that Mexican hotel for two months because there was a lot to like about it. 
there were some drawbacks. I won't mention the name. <laughs> like noise um, that was intolerable, finally. There was a family living under my balcony who had started a business washing cars and letting their children run and scream into the middle of the night. They lived in their cars on the street and you can just do that in Mexico. Uh, so, you know, you just wanna make sure that the conditions that you have in that place are either bearable, tolerable, or you're gonna have to move. Um, and I've spent, I've spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars um, in places I've rented in the USA that, that had problems. So, um, like, in the pandemic, I rented a place in Ashland, Oregon that didn't have a stove, didn't have a washer and dryer, didn't have quiet course you don't know until you move in so that was my last mistake I made I signed up for two months paid everything three thousand dollars and then found out how noisy it was and I really didn't like that I didn't have a stove for a thousand dollars a month plus the thousand deposit and the thousand for the second month so be careful. It really takes a lot of travel to get to be savvy and know about how you can work with people that are good based on how they treat you and how quickly they return your messages. Um, because that's what you want when something goes wrong. They own the property. They have the mortgage to pay. Are they, do they have the integrity to keep the place up? So there's things like that that are really important. So if they don't write you back right away, just go on to the next person because that's how they're going to be when something goes wrong. They're not going to write you back right away and they're not going to care. They just want the money. Um, so these are things that I've learned um, paying other people's mortgage for 15 years. And these are really reliable uh, facts about finding housing. Um, and that's why when I lead the workshops with people, I've vetted these places for you so you don't have to have horrible things happen <laughs> like I have, which is very valuable information. Um, of course, things can go wrong, but I can't think of anybody that's had a bad experience in accommodation I've recommended to them because I've vetted each place I've stayed in them or um, I've stayed in them or I've stayed in the neighborhood and I know how good of a place it is based on the staff, based on the manager, based on me already talking to these people. So I know you can't really do that nowadays, but you can with your own experience. So that's the difference. Get out there and travel. Take the chance that it's going to go bad. But don't sign up for a really long time. Um, I just saw an apartment in Oaxaca City, and I signed up for it for a month. I did investigate. <laughs> and it was good. Wi-Fi worked. Nice people that manage it. Um, and I did live in the neighborhood before, so... We'll see how well that goes. I'll get back to you on that. So have fun traveling and I'll see you in the next video.